Daniel AJ Tech House. On to this um, agenda, I would um, show you how to send an email from another email address. Uh, but before I go on, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video with your colleagues that might need it. Right. So um, without wasting much time, uh, I'll proceed to Outlook. I'll show you how to send an email from another email address via Outlook desktop client and then Outlook on the web. So let's go. All right, so um, let me start with Outlook on the web. I have my Outlook on the web. I've signed into my Outlook on the web here. So um, all I need to do is uh, click on new email or new mail and click on mail. Right, a new page opens up where you need to input um, the, the recipient's address. And if you need to copy or blind copy them, you you can do that from here, right? So as you can see, we can't send, um, what you can see here is you can send immediately or um, schedule um, sending an email. However, this is not what we want. So what you need to do is, you can see the menu bar at the top here. All you need to do is click on options and then select the show from, right? So you can see show from field here select it and then um, you you should see um, this part here right so all you need to do is come here and then if the email address is not this email address you want to send email, the email from you can add another email address and then let's say i want to send from solo email right all i need to do is type in the, the recipient's email address Let's say Alex Web Weber um, testing testing the send email send it in a probability with um yeah with AG and I sent right so you can send email from a different email address but mind you for you to be able to send an email from a different email address you must have a delegate permission right to send us or send on behalf of that and send on behalf of that email right so i'll also show you all how to send from desktop client the same way you come to new email right and then you go to options, you select the form, and then it shows up here. I can click on the form, I can select this email address, or I can add a different email address. All right, let's see, I want to send from Alex Weber. Uh, okay, I don't know the email address, so let me just go with, if you know it, you can type it in. Let me just go with the email.solo, right? And I see I'm sent to Alex. Um, let me use Ad Alex, okay? Alex here. Let me copy Alex's email. Right, I don't want to use Alex anymore. Let me send to Adil. I come back here. Send from Alex. All right, so as you can see here. I have selected, I've added Alex's email, and then um, I don't want to copy anybody. And do test, testing one, two, three, test, testing with Alex and add you, All right? And then I click on send. So that's how you can send an email Right, from another email address. And um, I intentionally used the Alex e Alex's email because um, I knew I was gonna get an error and then this is the error, right? I do not have the permission to send email on behalf of Alex, right? 
this is because I do not have permission. So you would get this error when you do not have permission to send on behalf of this user. Unlike when we sent from Ima Solo, right? We we um we did not get any error, right? So like I said earlier, you have to have the send as permission to be able to send email on behalf of um, a shared mailbox or a user mailbox. So if I go back and say, let me send from Ima Solo to Alex, right? Testing one, two, three, four. I shouldn't get an error. So let's see. It's gone. Thank you very much um, for watching my video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and then like the video and also share the video with your colleagues and friends. Also, ensure you have your notification turned on so you can be notified of every new video I drop. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.